Hi, welcome to Freshers Life. Here I will explain how to apply for graduate engineer vacancy in Central Electronics Limited. In the top of page you will find the company name, vacancy name, educational qualification, total number of vacancy, salary and other key information about this vacancy. This is the link of recruitment page. This link is given below the video. The last date to apply for this vacancy is 20th January 2015. When scrolling down at the bottom of the page, you see click here for more details button and click on it. This is the official notification page of Central Electronics. Central Electronics Limited invites applications from talented professionals for the post of graduate engineer vacancies on contract basis. Here the name of post, educational qualification, number of vacancy and their salary details are given. Candidates read it carefully before you apply for this vacancy. Selected candidates have all these facilities like basic pay, dearness allowance, HRA and a transport allowance. Selection process is based on GATE 2014 marks and requirement. Candidates will be shortlisted at first stage. Candidates have to pay rupees 250 for application fees in the form of DD drawn in favor of this address. Please write your name, gate 2014 registration number and name of the post on the reverse side of bank draft. SC, ST and PWD candidates are exemption from application fees. SC, ST and OBC candidates have age relaxation under their category. Eligible engineers may send their application with one passport size photograph and copies of documents to this address. Selected candidates may be informed by email for personal interview and group discussion. This is the application format of Central Electronics Limited. First, candidates have to write the name of post and affix a reason passport size photograph with the attestation. Please write your full name in capital letters then Write your personal details like father's name, sex, communication address with the correct email ID and contact number. Please fill your correct date of birth, age, nationality, marital status and category whether you belong to general, SC, ST or OBC. The educational qualification and the experience gain should be clearly filled in these tables. Finally, candidates read the declaration part and sign in signature column. I hope this video is helpful for you. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.